Hello everyone, this is a practical course tour for uh, for this course. So just, you know, the other video is talking about course, you know, what we'll actually be reading and doing and why. This is just to make sure that we're all familiar with the setup of the thing and what you need to do. Uh, so if we go, you know, if you go to the homepage of the Canvas site, what you will see are the, uh, first of all, the announcements, when there are announcements, there aren't any right now, but then the modules, and that's where pretty much everything is. Uh, so if you want to either go to the home page or to the modules page, that's where you have to go to get things done, to do the readings and to submit assignments. If you look at the way that the material has been divided up into units, basically weeks. Unit one is basically week one. Unit two is week two, more or less. But what you need to do is to look uh, at every unit and make sure that you're, you know when things are due. Uh, that should be pretty obvious from looking at it. First ethical analysis is due May 25th. And the second one is due May 27th. Discussion boards, etc. So let's just look at a typical week. Um, Week one, we have our first ethical analysis, uh, May 25th. You have to do these, uh, you know, look at these hypothetical scenarios and, and follow the instructions in terms of what sort of responses you should give them. So this is pretty typical. Um, there are uh, readings that will obviously need to be done before they second ethical analysis is due, you'll see that it requires you to actually employ the ideas from Kant and uh, utilitarianism to actually do the assignment. And for every unit, and you can think of it as week, unit one is week one, unit two is week two. Um, aside from the readings and the assignments, particular assignments, there's always a, a unit discussion board. This is open more or less the whole week, but has to be done by a certain time. Uh, and you just need to respond to the prompt. And for every one, you have to do a substantive post in response to the prompt. But you also need to reply to at least one other student's post. And that should be a substantive reply. It shouldn't just be, uh, you know, that was good. I like that or I didn't like that. You should give reasons. You should thoughtfully respond to at least one other student's uh, post. And that just has to be done during the open period for the discussion board. So, uh, and I should tell you that the, as far as late work in this class, everything is accepted late at half credit, except for the discussion board. Um, once the discussion board closes, you, you can't do that assignment. So, which is really not very uh, taxing since it's just writing some comments or responding to a prompt and replying to another student's post. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, as far as the readings, when you should do them, I think it's pretty obvious when you should do them. Say, let's look at uh, unit two, week two, where we're reading Kant. Uh, there's, a couple, there's readings, there are videos to watch. Um, that's a major part, I think, of an online course is that you you know, the teacher tries to supplement the course with some video lectures, mini talks, whatever you want to call them, um, because we're not actually going to meet. So kind of need some guidance. So I've been teaching online for many years, and, and this is my main way of doing it. It's just uploading uh, talks uh, to my YouTube channel. And so you'll see there are three of them here um, for the different Kant readings. So again, if we look at that, there's a couple of Kant readings and then there's some review questions that are due on those first two readings, I believe Wednesday of this, of this week. And then there are a couple more uh, readings and videos and then there's a second so I think it's all it's just common sense. You know, there are readings to do each week and they need to be done in order to 
complete the study question assignments or other assignments that are that are due. And again, every week, every unit, there is a discussion board with a different prompt, but basic, same basic structure. Uh, you reply to the question of the prompt, and then you have to get full credit for the discussion board. You have to post an additional reply to at least one other student's post. It's just something you'll need to do for every unit or every week of the course. There are a number of exams, uh, obviously, in this uh, class. The first exam on Kant. Uh, after our week reading Kant, there'll be a, an online exam. It's at a particular time, and as I've said in other places, uh, if that time is absolutely impossible for you, uh, contact me and we'll make other arrangements, but otherwise you should take the exam when it is actually open. Um, the first exam on June 6 is open uh, from 10 to 11.15, basically. You have an hour and 15 minutes to do it. So it'll be available a little longer than that, but you need to take it during that time. So it's really your responsibility to check when the various exams will be open so that you can take them. And if you have a conflict where you absolutely can't take it at that time, it's up to you to contact me uh, to tell me beforehand that you can't take it. Uh, that is, uh, we have to make arrangements for you to take it another time. But I would, I, I would appreciate that if that is only done, uh, if it really is impossible for you to take it. So moving through the course, then Unit 3 on utilitarianism, there are various things to do, review questions that will require you to have read the initial material, second set of review questions due at the end of the week, a discussion board, and after we finish reading mail, there'll be an exam on June 13th, which is again at a certain time, uh, only open on that day for a certain time, so you have to make sure that uh, you take it during that period. And we move on to Unit 4, our readings on abortion. Again, review questions due for each of the readings, a discussion board, and after you know we're through with the, the week's readings, there is a an exam on the week's readings. The last unit of the course on giving, same structure. Um, you know, we have an, a, this ethical analysis due at the beginning of the week, <clears throat> which is another thing, right? Uh, week uh, four, unit four, also has an ethical analysis due. You just have to check those things for yourself. Um, and then an exam on that week four material. And then finally, the final exam, which is, again, given on a certain day, July 1st, at a certain time. So the structure of the course is pretty simple. It's more or less organized by week. Uh, there are readings that need to be done. And there are assignments that need to be done on those readings that need to be, uh, need to be submitted by a certain time. There is a more or less weekly discussion board and make sure that you're clear about when that board will be actually be open. It's not open now. It'll be open the week that we're doing the, the reading that material during that unit. Um, there'll be various things that I'll be adding, perhaps uh, more review videos to get you ready for exams, uh, maybe looking over some of the things on the discussion board and sending them out videos on that. Um, but the structure of it, I think, is pretty simple. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact me, as they say, and uh, clarify anything that you, you know, any questions that you have.